Oh, you guys got my postcard. Oh, turtle, you're my favorite. Yeah, there's all kinds of supernatural monsters around here. I need help. I can't deal with them all. We'd love a job, all three of us. Yeah, all four of us. Oh, I guess he's part of our team now. <laughs> You're familiar with uh, with Goner's Brew. It's the holy water of the dwarves. And I'm a fire ganassi sorcerer. That's all I've got, really. Welcome to the Duchy of Bees, where dangers lurk and treasures are waiting to be found. Dungeon Master Marbach of the Western Lakes and a crack team of the Duchy's most skilled adventurers Bring their talents to the table in the face of monsters and madmen. Under the tutelage of Brewmaster Gunnar, Dwarven Cleric of the Grave, these heroes hope to vanquish their foes, bring last in peace, and create stories to be remembered for ages. They are Gunners for Hire. Today's case, Lawn of the Dead. So you've recently been employed by the priest of the grave, Goner, brewmaster at Citadel Edna. Fantastic, amigos. We have jobs now. I'm just glad to be around people now. I didn't know how much fun it would be. Which fun? I almost died. I owe you my life, friends. Especially you, Toro, my favorite. <laughs> All right, so you get asked to... Uh, Head to the necropolis, uh, and you gotta sort of clean up a mess after there was a uh, there was a swarm of zombies that ran through there. Do we head over to the nip necropolis? Necropolis. Necropolis. Thirty. Swarm of zombies. Necropolis. N i p. Necro. Necro. Necropolis. No. Necropolis. Necropolis. So we're headed to Necropolis to clean up Swarm zombie of, Swarm of zombies. Yeah. Oh. Clean up zombies. some zombie. Zombies. There's zombies here? Yeah. There's zombies back home. I'm not used to this big city. <laughs> so y'all y'all have been living here for about a month or two. I'm getting used to this kinda, big city. Yeah, you're getting used to it. You, you do lots of odd jobs uh, when there's nothing really going on. There's a lot of beer orders, so you got to deliver a lot of beer. Uh, everyone seems to get roped into that. There's this bard who started a little after you guys did. He seems really unhappy with it, <laughs> uh, but he's making do. So you've been here a couple months, but how often do we get paid? Like, how much do we have any extra gold in our currency right now? I'd say you'd probably have about eighty gold saved up, okay. depending on how much you want to spend. Mm. I have sixty-nine gold. Nice. Perfect. Nice. 59 gold? 69 gold. Like r- roughly 70. But one less. Like nearly 70 gold. Yeah, yeah. I get I like, get you. Like a rough 69 gold. <laughs> After he said that you could have a possibility of 80. Yeah, and but you, he said minus whatever. Any, and I'm a spender. Anywhere okay. between 68 and 70. Anywhere. Anywhere. Pick okay, spot. perfect. <laughs> you can't choose either end. Okay, so we're on our way to Necropolis. Necropolis. To the, to the Necropolis. To yeah. Necropolis, because they have a little zombie outbreak going on. Yeah, there was... Uh, there was. Well, I mean, in a place called Necropolis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's right next to, to the Citadel. Um, since Goner is a priest of the grave, he, he he's sort of in charge of making sure that the dead stay dead. Uh, but every now and then, there's this evil necromancer who lives there who... Uh, Wakes up, tries to steal stuff from the other tombs, and it's it's messy. But so you're walking around, uh, and you uh, you see somebody hanging out in part of the graveyard. Mm. Who is it? You There's wanna, a spooky fellow over there. Yeah, you wanna go talk to him. Sure. Is He's, it West Lakes? No. Oh, he looks kind of scary. That's, that's I'm right behind cool. you. All right. <laughs> so, uh, so you go over and you check out what's going on. Uh, from a distance, you see that he's got uh, very dry, pale skin. Uh, he's incredibly thin, sort of mottled gray hair, uh, black eyes. He's Spooks. got a he's got a scarf that looks like uh, like. The way that it's laid, it looks like bony hands across his chest. Uh, it's, it's a really cool looking scarf. 
Spooky Let's man. See. Looks awesome. What is your name? Come hither. What do you want? My God, it talks. Who are you? Are you a zombie? <sighs> no. I chose to be the undead. Zombies don't choose that sort of thing. So, do I know that he's a vampire? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he just said undead. I mean, you can assume that. Dwarves. Are you a just vampire? <sighs> no. Right God. So he just goes back to reading his book. It seems like an, he seems like an upset teenager. Yeah, what are, why do we need to talk to him? We're looking so you, you so what what is your name undead man Well like right now I'm going by Night Song <laughs> Night Song you know what I hate I hate these these damn zombies that don't choose to be dead Right they just like do whatever some like sorcerer or whatever tells them and then he looks at you and like realizes that you've got like this magical aura he's like no offense. You I'm can, taken. You can he help takes us. a drag off of his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> if you can help us find some undead. Are you talking oh, about Jesus. the thing that happened last night? Like, that was just like some lich or something. Yeah. Can you point this into the right direction? Yeah, he, he gives you like a crude little map. He pulls it out of the back of his notebook and he like draws it out and it, it, it's pretty clear that he knows the layout of the whole necropolis and stuff and so he points you in the direction hmm. i like your joy division notebook can i get an insight on him like is <laughs> thank, he thank you bad? nighthawk uh yeah you immediately know that he's like since he chose to be undead there's it's like evil. definitely negative energy and just by his attitude <laughs> you could tell there's just so much negative energy about him mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you by chance, sir, the lich? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like sort of like a lich, like, but not exactly a lich. Like, I prefer to be called a necropolitan. I don't really like Mike. You oh, can't just go asking labels. everybody if they're a lich. <laughs> He's a bit racist, amigo. Oh, uh, so I'm <laughs> getting, so you live amigo. in nec necropolis, <laughs> necro 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 whatever that place is called. I chose I not to live. Like no, 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 not live. I call it dwelling. Do you? Are you from Necropolis? What politic? What, what is it called? Necropolis. 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 We're in Necropolis now. I mean, I dwell here. I'm a denizen of the Necropolis. Okay, I'm. Uh, <sighs> yeah. W can you point which way He's to go? He's just like again? really snappy with you. Like check you his don't papers. Get why? <laughs> like he just assumes you should understand. I'm what, sorry. I mean, everything yeah. about him. So if everybody, so then I kind of. He just grumbles something about his stepdad uh, and. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the map. Uh, uh, and then I sidestep, sidebar these guys, and I'm like, I think we're gonna run into a lot of undead people here. So, I don't know how, who we're supposed to get rid of. Y'all. <laughs> well, he marked on the map where, like, the happening oh. occurred last night. So, so, so you know, like, a general area of where you should be so heading. show him the maps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we're away from Night Song. Yeah. So, we're off. not killing him. No. We need to follow this map to the, where the happening was. Okay. Then let's just go, because I'd prefer not to speak with him again. Yeah. I kind of got... I'm freaked out. Thank you, Night Song. <laughs> Thanks, man. He just doesn't say anything back to you. He's just... Rude ass. Back of his book. Ass. Damn it. So rude. Cool, oh. cool scarf. Did anyone wearing. get the creeps <laughs> from that guy? He wasn't that cool. Scarf is cool. That's about it. All okay, right. so we head towards... We follow the map to where the happening happened. Okay. Uh, you just see, like, scores and scores of, like, mangled corpses. I mean, we happen My upon God, them. look at all these scores. Huh? You mean we happen upon them? Yeah, yeah, you happen <laughs> upon them. Uh, there's, like, a lot of them look like there's been spikes driven through them, and they're just, like, piled up. Some of them are burnt. Some of them are just hacked apart. This is the big city. <laughs> Ugh, this is creepy. Is there anything that I'm we scared. can? Uh, is there any weapons or anything we can take from the corpses? 
No, no. It, I mean, it yeah. looks like these people were buried properly, but just like and were brought back. Uh, oh, they were brought back and they went yeah. back down. Yeah. But they get up again. Yeah. They're zombies. But they're. So do we have to kill these they're zombies? Dead. I mean, as they're far dead. as you understand, you were told that you're just the cleanup crew for all. Oh of this. man, I thought what? we were gonna do ah. some zombie so, murdering. No, well, we gotta clean this up. We have to bueno. All right. If only we had somebody with us that can just light them all on fire. If only. Oh, so. yeah. Perfect. All right. If get to only. it. And then I retreat into my shell. <laughs> so I start producing flame. Okay. So you, uh, <laughs> th- there is like a ditch nearby yeah. that you kind of you can scoop. No push it all yeah. You can like scoop them into it. Yeah. All right. I, I am also in this. This is like really horribly morbid. And dark it's like right now, super <laughs> like ma- yeah. It's like what the heck? I'm just like I got the the janitor broom pushing it into the ditch. <laughs> like, all right, guys, let's let's get all these bones. I have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Never mind. Ooh. Damn it. I'm in, uh, currently I'm inside <laughs> the shell with the turtle. No, he's not. <laughs> you can't. Fit he's in not there. inside my shell. <laughs> All right, so See, that's why I follow the beacon. While guy. y'all three are cleaning up, murder, you uh you hear a voice coming from a tomb, not far away. Meow. <laughs> uh, and it says, "Murder, come to me." I don't know. Do you guys hear that? There's a voice. You guys hear, like, some birds and vultures? I poke my head out of my shell. Nobody? What, are you, what are you talking about, murder? There's a voice over here. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, I think you're just hearing things, man. It's just what, did, old, it, what did it say? These old bones talking. It knew my name. And that's I, it. I know your name. Are you the voice? I shrug it off. I think he's going crazy. Huh. You keep, and then I, I go to help. I get out of my shell and help throw bodies. Let oh, me yeah. step a little closer. <laughs> All right, so y'all are cleaning up bodies, hmm. and uh, I think uh, I think we should uh, before it gets like too crazy full, we should start burning it, and then as it's burning, we can just toss the rest of the bones in. Sure. Yeah. I like that you thought of how to dispose the thing. <laughs> yeah. just, you know, the zombies that got important. Like, no wait, do we have trash bins? <laughs> can we separate? So, so murder. Uh, you follow the voice. Oh man. To uh, <laughs> no, you, you you don't feel like threatened or anything. You just feel like you should really go check this mm. out. You feel like really calmed and soothed. Just a friendly ghost. And what uh, is that voice? <laughs> so I, I when I throw my like my I have like five of them stacked on my turtle shoulder, and I, I throw the throw them in there. I see murder walking away. Mm. Yeah, tail up in the air. Mm. And I follow him at a distance. Light him on fire, Flint. I'll be right back. It will do. I'll go get that cat. Tabaxi. You walk to this tomb. I'm following him like he's a si- like he's following he's listening to sirens or whatever the <laughs> they are. And you find a tomb with a door that it's like a mausoleum and the door has fallen in. Hmm. Oh, this wow. is murder. I'm scared. Move the door. Hmm. I don't know if I should do that. Who are you talking to? Move the door, murder. Hmm. I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't hear him. All right. Uh, what's your strength? Ten. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so you're, you're trying to move the door, and you just you you can't do it. You can't get it to to budge. Ah. Uh, hey, turtle. Yes. Can you help me open this door? I examine the door. Is it a scary door? Uh, it looks like the, the door of, like, an evil person's tomb. <laughs> and, like, you can look into the tomb, and you see that there's, like, all this, like, gold and, like, really weird things that would probably be kept by, like, an evil wizard. I see gold back there. I need to get in there if you're okay with that. Hey, Flint! <laughs> you recognize any of these carvings or gold? So I guess I go walk I, in. I recognize the gold. I'm a fan of gold. <laughs> and I check it out. Are they on fire yet? I need Flint, to light get them yet. on no, fire. I lit them on fire. Okay. Then come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you recognize anything? I walk over there just because I don't want to be by myself <laughs> with all the bones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll an arcana check. Arcana? Oh, I guess right. everyone's over here, huh? 
Can I roll a stone cunning? Eleven. Cunning? Eleven. Uh, you pretty much see that there's, like, warding glyphs on this that are supposed to keep things inside, but there's not really anything on there to keep anyone outside. Gotcha. So I go, yeah, let's not touch this. Are you sure? There's lots of gold right there. I'm you see it. Really sure. Mm. Okay. So I say, come on. We're we're here to do a job. But the gold. It's so. Pretty. And I start walking away, knowing I'm probably the strongest one here, and probably the only one that should open the door. But I walk back to finish my job. I can't get in there because I can't open the door. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just like like pawing at the door like a cat. <laughs> 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 But the gold! And uh, you start hearing a voice in your head that says, Murder, they're not your real friends. Your real friends oh would let you have gold. God. You know what? You're right. We would all show the gold together, but I guess it's just going to be me. And then you find a way to somehow get in there. <laughs> 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 I start throwing bodies into the big fire pit of bodies. And I keep on lighting them on fire. Uh, yeah, I go back to doing the same. All right. And then you hear an unearthly scream. <laughs> Is it murder? <laughs> you, hear, you hear an unearthly scream, and uh, there is a specter floating towards you. Wait, am I the unearthly scream? Yeah, you, you don't hear the scream. Yeah. Those three hear the scream. Ah. Oh, okay. Um, we heard the scream come from the from the thing? Uh, no, it's like from the opposite direction. There's like this uh, this... Like, incorporeal, floating, humanoid shape, just screaming and, like, reaching out to y'all. And, like, it's coming... Oh, wait, so I'm still over here by myself. It's coming at you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's coming towards me, us three. So I'm like, why are you looking at me? Well, you're just, like, over there trying to lift a door. Yeah, I'm still just trying to... And the voice in your head is just like, you want to... You want to get someone who can, like, who's strong. You got, like, tools. You got... uh, So back to you three. Uh... So yeah, there's there's a specter coming towards you, screaming. Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, I don't know what I, to do with the specter. Yeah. I I, I get my sword out. My uh, not my sword. My one of my hand axe out. What do you want to do? I swing at the specter. Okay, you swing at the specter. Uh, and uh, it just yeah, it just goes straight through it. Nothing happens. What if I do a magic thorn whip? Thorn whip, go for it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Uh, you uh, you just go a little short, like you're just ha ha, and your whip like reaches straight out at it, and then just like falls short and like hits it the ground. Touch yeah, it doesn't it doesn't hit the specter. All right, hey, look at the specter. Who are you? And it just it just keeps screaming, and it says <laughs> die, die, die. I scream back. Ah! Well, <laughs> shoot it with the fireball. It's the specter's turn. What? So, uh, yeah, you were the first one to swing at it. Yep. So it goes for you. Yeah, sounds about right. And uh, <laughs> it reaches out and grabs you by the throat. <laughs> How big is the specter thing? <laughs> uh, it uh, it drains fourteen uh, points of health from you. So my armor class you just didn't feel matter. Yeah. Yeah, it's a ghost. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Do a constitution saving throw before oh. that happens. Oh, before I subtract the 14? Yeah. My constitution. Fuck. Shut the heck up. I mean, damn. 9 plus 2. 11. 11? Oh, okay. So, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, you still take that amount of damage, <laughs> no. but uh, you don't take... You don't feel the despair. Yeah. All over Flint... Yourself. Go ahead what do you do? Shoot clean up a an fireball at it. Okay. Well, ten. Ten. No. Uh, yeah, of... That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It just uh, it passes right by it. And what? <laughs> you you accidentally hit a vulture that's uh, that's been Aww. flying around trying hey. to peck at the, the hey, dead that's, zombies. That's food. Uh, murder, do a wisdom saving throw. 
Which or actually, one? do a you can do a charisma saving throw uh, with your d20. d20. Eleven. Actually, I was gonna run back anyway because I need <laughs> someone to help me open. Okay. Uh, so as so you're as you're running back 11. to the group to try and get help hey lifting the heavy door, uh, you realize, wait a minute, that thing that is compelling you to do this might be evil. You know, as I step away farther from the goal, I realize I don't want it that much. It's a little scary. <laughs> and then you oh see. Oh my god, uh, a ghost! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I realize that none of my weapons can damage this thing. So I just retreat into my shell. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Turtle, no! <laughs> they got it. He's like, ah, friend. this will save me from the ghost. Yeah. <laughs> he goes into your shell. <laughs> I, gain a, I gain four bonus to my armor class. All right. It just ignored your armor class. Huh? It, it, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what am I going to do? Swing at his max again? Throw a body at it? Ooh. Uh, detect. They're all burning. Uh, thorn Ooh. whip. <laughs> detect a thorn whip? You, <laughs> you sense a thorn whip in your hand. <laughs> you roll a uh, one. <laughs> this helmet's not getting it's not comfortable anymore. All right, yeah. <laughs> Attack it with thorn whip. 11 plus 4 is 15. All right, so you hit it. <gasps> So Achoo. what is your, your your magical thorn whip lashes around it. Yes. And you're like holding it in place. Five. It looks like Ghostbusters when they hit it with the proton. Good beams. job, Vengirl. Five damage. Five damage. Okay. I can, or uh, yeah, I can pull it towards me by 10 feet. If you I want to pull to. it towards you? No. Okay. <laughs> well, it flies towards you anyway. Because it does not like this, uh, thorn, this whip. thorn whip being Hold on it. Closer, ghost <laughs> uh, yeah, and so it goes ahead and reaches out at you and uh, grabs onto your your arm that's holding the whip. And I disengage. My priest, no! Nope, you can't. Uh, you take 10 damage. <gasps> and uh, go ahead and roll that saving throw. Mi amigo, no. Uh, what is it? Wisdom? Uh, constitution. Oh, uh, ten. Ten? Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just by the yeah. So just take that damage. Uh, Flint. It. You said ten. Yeah. Like what would priest, you like to no, do? No, I don't like you as much as turtle. Uh, I'm gonna try and cast Witch Bolt. From inside my right. shell, I make. Use magic! That's a four. Eight. Eight. Plus four. Yeah, it's plus a plus, plus four, four to DC. He has to roll to hit. Okay, so what did you roll? An eight. Eight. That's with the plus four? That's or? with the plus four. Okay, uh, so you, uh, you try to look really cool and you're like infinite power and you shoot lightning bolts from your hands but uh that's as far as it, i go yeah you just you, you hit like a tree next to another vulture and vultures are just like what the hell is with this guy he hates vultures Man, i don't even know what to do because all i got is melee stuff and it's clearly not worked before hmm. um well first i blame you you're our only wizard you should have done something. <laughs> I've been trying. Oh, <laughs> uh, shoot. You want to try talking to it? Because I tried that. And it yelled at me. Oh, that's true. Um, I guess I can try that. Hello, amigo. <laughs> it turns and looks at you. And it Hi. says, Hatred! Okay, very useful. <laughs> I can't roll anything. I don't know what to do. You can understand it. I can try. My intelligence. I have intelligence. What do I roll here? What? It doesn't really... I mean, it just said hatred in <laughs> the common tongue at oh, you. Oh, okay. And it just seems, oh. like, really angry, like it's something off of a metal album cover. And it just seems to know concepts, hmm. and they're all bad. End of turn? End of my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. I'm scared. <laughs> you just you Turn just sit off. in your shell. Yeah, I don't, there's, there's nothing no I can do. <laughs> <no reason. laughs> All right. What if we inspected 
<laughs> like look behind it. And the druid. Um, so it's like a mysterious. I go ahead and behind it. move <laughs> back twenty five feet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then I cast coward entangle, which is twenty from twenty feet. It's a twenty foot wide rectangle. Right. Yeah, twenty foot square. So twenty by twenty. So I'm okay. just outside of it now. All right. Twenty five foot. So I've cast a twenty. Uh, so you cast entangle, and all of these vines just like start coming up around like the tombstones, and they reach out and they entangle like right through the thing, and they just make this big bramble, and uh, it just like flies right out of it because it can't be entangled <laughs> by anything. Yeah, but it's it, the it doesn't. It's, it's, it's still it's physical. You're magicing vines. The, yeah. Physical you're magicing vine. the vines up, but the vines are still just. Physical corporeal things that I have a holy symbol that's everything. <laughs> oh, do you have a holy symbol? I do have a holy symbol. Well, Too that's late. good to know. <laughs> uh, I also have holy water. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, now you can take those out. Now, so then, now uh, <laughs> well, I found it in my shell it, right now. I'm inside of my shell. <laughs> <laughs> it just sort of laughs at you and like it reaches out for you, but you're you're too far from it and it Wait, can't. Is its uh, language it can't quite infernal? hit you with its uh, <laughs> with its. Gl- no right. Weird ghost? ghostly hands. So I lose concentration. It goes away. Okay. Every, all the plants wilt. Okay. Yeah, they just start to like crumble into brown. Does dead it speak vines. infernal? Because I do have that language. I don't know, but it's uh, it's Flint's turn right now. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna try and hit it with a firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Holy right. Wait, what, what was it? I don't know how many more vultures. Three. <laughs> three. <laughs> so seven. More, more vultures. So it was a seven. <laughs> All right. Okay, then I attempt to talk infernal to it. Okay. Now I roll. Right? Or no? No, yeah, you you talk infernal to it. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? What do you, say? <laughs> what do you want? In and infernal. It, and it just says death. Very useful. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that? He wants death. Can we understand it? We we heard death. No. Uh, no, well, you no, just, just you took, hear something uh, horrifying, uh, and it kind of like turns your stomach to hear this language. You feel like it shouldn't well, be. I speak infernal, so I hear. I understand. Oh, okay, it. so Ooh, you understand it. You know it, what yeah. it is. Uh, you still get that feeling whenever you hear it yeah. spoken, but you I feel like that language doesn't belong in the world. Okay, how close am I to it? Uh, well. You can't really see because you're okay. in a shell. I retract that in my shell. Okay, so you're you're about like ten feet from it. Okay, I retract that in my shell, holding holding a flask of holy water that I found in there. Okay. <laughs> and I I I walk right up to it, and I start splashing it with holy water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. W- <laughs> where did you get the holy water from? Like I don't, where? Oh, it just said adventuring gear, holy water flask. I got it okay. from my the god that I worship, the god of storms, Lightning McQueen. Okay, <laughs> I got it from his temple. All right, so uh, it seems to do a little bit of damage to it. Uh, it kind of like sizzles, <laughs> like you f- you see the water actually hit and stick to it. It be gone, temptress! It's flashing. And it just kind of like moves. Like off to the side a little bit, but it's still like reaching out at y'all. But it's uh, it you feel like it's doing something. Oh, cool! Is that my whole turn? Ghost gone wild. Isn't it one d four for holy water? I got this. <laughs> I was just wondering. Yeah, I. We're good. Okay. You don't know how much damage it does. I can know that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, it's my turn now. Yeah. Holy ghost, Batman. Uh, I take... I'm like, oh. Holy brew. I take a bottle of uh, Goner's Holy Brew. All right. <gasps> the Holy Brew. You've just got like a growler of it. You've got like yeah. 64 <laughs> yeah. ounces. Of, Drinking isn't yeah. always the yeah. answer. And uh, I'm like, well, it's a it's a bit of a waste to throw... Or to, to fling it on a monster, but I've heard stories. And so I throw the growler 
like splash it. I don't throw the growler. <laughs> okay. I throw the liquid <laughs> onto <laughs> the, the thing. All right, you splash it with it, and yeah. it, it starts it starts going sideways in the other direction, and then it really starts freaking out. <laughs> Thank you, Gutter. <laughs> Once again, the answer is beer. <laughs> the answer has always been. Uh, yeah, and so uh, so it like just starts screaming. And then we take a second to do like an infomercial for Gunners. <laughs> like, <laughs> buy yours at the nearest store. <laughs> it could repel. Demons. I mean, it can repel specters. Stay ghosty, All my right. friends. Stay uh, ghosty, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's probably gonna come. It after. feels like it's getting like hit from both sides, uh. and it it's just swinging wildly and not really hitting anybody. But like you can tell, it's angry, oh. <laughs> and it seems to be like growing, like making its presence oh, more gosh. visible and known. Please, magic friend. <laughs> Can Please I try again for uh, another firebolt. Third time's the charm. It's the fourth. Fifth. 18. 18 plus four. Yeah. 18. Oh. Okay, so yeah, you, you hit it this time. Yay! Finally. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> four damage. Four damage? Okay. All right. It's starting to you weaken, and its image is like flickering in and out of visibility. I sell. <gasps> Murder, use your special flask of Goner's brew. Oh, I have one? I mean, we work yeah. for him. Why wouldn't okay. we have him? So I toss it. Yeah! <laughs> I open it. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Retcon that real quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> as it goes, the <laughs> just it, it just like spins through the air. And yeah. as it spins... The, the beer like flies out of it like a ninja star mm -hmm. and it just like splashes in a circle and it splits the, the specter in half and it uh, dissipates into nothingness. Oh. Got him, amigos. Good job. Thank Goner. <laughs> <laughs> I close my holy water, kiss it, say ka -chow, and I put it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh so yeah you've, uh, you've killed that specter you've uh you've sent it to the abyss from which it where it belongs ah whatever uh <laughs> it's gone uh and then you uh you don't have to deal with that goner. anymore I start to contemplate about how how pretty easily we got rid of that specter and if we should in fact go inside of that tomb that yeah, I was about to say that. About this gold, it's still there. We should look into it. Do we finish cl burning all the bones? Yeah, you just you finish burning all the bones, and you decide not to not to go into the evil tomb. Oh, okay. Like, you feel oh, we like don't, maybe that's somebody else's in? thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. yeah. And like every now and then, though, we had the beer murder. You just we hear that whisper defeats. in the back of your head, like, "Are you getting? Are you getting someone to?" No, <laughs> Can y'all try it? Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> Give me a sec. All right. <laughs> Come on, guys. We, we have the beer. We can go in there. There's a ghost. We can so congratulations. It. Yes. You have figured out that... Goner's Brew is actually... Yeah. The legends are true. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. I was like... He said holy water. I only have beer. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> All right. And that's that. Awesome. But, but guys, the gold is still there. <laughs> <laughs> There's been animal attacks, strange animal attacks. All right, my specialty. Got Stag here. Help track him. How you doing? I'm Stag. They're like, oh, it's another monster! I'm a reptile. We're looking for some other sort of beast. We're here to hunt him. Yeah. Yeah. Kill him. Yeah. They ain't bothering us no more. Huh? You marry him off to your daughter? <laughs> to create peace between... <laughs> Farmer and beast kind. Oh my God.